So these stretches are going to be for the elbow, just in case he had some spasticity throughout his biceps, you would want to do these. So say he's normally in this posture here, we're going to try to stretch his arm all the way out. The way I like to do this one is to first apply some deep pressure here through the biceps. It should be kind of hard if it's a spastic muscle. I'm just going to apply some firm but not painful pressure throughout. You're going in a direction that's more towards the shoulder. So I'm pushing kind of down and up toward his head. After I feel like I've worked some of the tension out in here, it's when you want to start with this stretch down. So, working here, I'm going to pull until I feel the resistance. I'm going to hold on that resistance. I may kind of still keep applying some firm pressure here. We're working on that tendon a little bit, just pushing. You'll feel it, it's really tight. So I'm holding small oscillations till I feel it good and go down. Another movement of the elbow is supination, supination and pronation. A lot of times these get really tight, so you act like you're shaking hands. This one can be done sitting down, sitting up or laying down, it doesn't really matter. You want your finger to go down their forearm. With a child's, your finger will go down a lot further and it actually makes the control a lot easier. So you're just going to turn the hand side, side. But it's the same, it's kind of hard because he doesn't have high tone, but it's the same concept. Go until you feel the, pre the resistance, hold against that resistance, Take up the slack and go somewhere.